week guys so are you how are you today i'm great how are you doing i'm doing fantastic right? a better way to continue an epic day which i want to epic is it you know what it is? Yeah. i love it i love it so again as i said it's so amazing to have you here and um and then yeah i mean what can i tell me tell me what's still since our last chat which was like what a month ago it's been something ago right? gosh it was like a month ago I missed you and I'm so glad you missed me already because it was so great talking to you. You're so pleasant. You have such cool questions. Thank you. I yeah, appreciate that. I, and it's been, it's been over a year. Uh, this weekend was the uh, the year I started on June 4th. 4th. Yeah, Yay. 4th. Yay. Amazing. Congrats. You deserve it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's really it's really cool it's really awesome you know, having the chance to uh, like to meet so many talented awesome people and you're included of course and you know like uh, it's so fun because, it is so it is funny because if you have told me two years ago that i would be doing this i would say you're crazy you know <laughs> right it's so amazing fun. you're so dedicated thank you thank you so uh so yeah tell me uh, uh yeah what's new what's new since our last chat what what have you been up to Gosh, I don't even know where to begin, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, uh, I've been working on my book, um, Swipe for Two. Um, and this this is a two-part series. So uh, part one is more focused on dating and friendships in the millennium, post Me Too, post um, feminism, Wow. how people okay. in, interact these days everything's so different um the internet instagram everything over the past several years um has just changed the world people now have a different way of interacting and and the second uh book swipe part two it focuses a little bit more on uh internet networking and um gender norms um during the time we're living in uh, post-pandemic. And I just, it's been one of the hardest books I've ever written because there's no place to really research this information. It's all coming from personal interviews and statistics that I have to create. And I want to be that go-to person to find standard norms of what's really happening socially these days. I want to be known for that with my uh, books that I write and put on Barnes and Noble. Wow. Wow, so yeah, you have been up to a lot recently. That is so cool. Wow, okay. I didn't, I, I didn't know about, about the book last time we chatted. Did we? I don't really publicize it. It's just uh, something I do when I'm not uh, wow. working uh, in the entertainment industry. Uh, second passion uh, in life. I'm not saying it's not as equally as exciting as acting yeah. and modeling, but I do love working therapy and uh, I do behavioral therapy technician work for autistic children mm-hmm. and peer advocacy for mentally ill and people that are lost in life and I want to go on to my master's in mental health and I do write my book because I have a strong interest in understanding people and society wow yeah. you know now, now that you mention it what do you think that is one of the reasons why someone will get lost in themselves you need a lot of courage to express yourself your likes your dislikes your yeah. desires and your fears so many people are afraid of judgment and rejection and being looked at as weird but you gotta start somewhere and the only way to get good at something is practice so a lot of people without experience, they just don't know what it's like to approach another person and say, I feel this way in a way or a bad way. So they're almost stunted in their growth. It could be like 40 years old, but have the practice level of like a two year old or a 12 year old. So when they go to finally talk to a woman, they're talking from a perspective of a child that maybe only had practice asking his mother for something once and gotten rejected. So like the second time asking a woman for something, he goes back to being three years old, for example. So I say, try and fail, try and fail, try and fail, get good at socializing, and then master it, and then get what you want. True. Well, yeah, yeah, interesting. And do you think that maybe that could be the cause of 
I mean, I, I'm, I wouldn't say like bad parenting because nobody knows how to be, you know, like a father or a mother. I mean, basically, from, uh, from, from, from experience from friends and family, they basically all have learned it from the get go, right? So, but, 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 but I mean, back with what you were mentioning, you know, like, uh, like, uh, like that social interaction, you think that sometimes like the parenting could be, you know, one of the things that, um, I mean, I wouldn't say like, like, uh, like but maybe could be kind of a kind of a con, like a you know, like not a cool, not a good thing when you were first socializing. They kept you like in this shell. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, I was just talking to one of my friends about our primary attachment styles, and I had a very good upbringing yeah. with a family that never got divorced. Now I know I mentioned to you at another point that my mother had died from brain cancer at a very young age and yeah. I haven't had my mother around me in physical form for the longest time now. When I was growing up, I had a very healthy childhood and it's actually extremely hard for me in my secondary attachment style to connect with people outside of my family because a lot of people do not have a secure primary attachment style. So they find it hard to trust. I'm completely trusting and loving. So we're not pushing. Secondarily, with my family, it's like great. Hmm. Wow. And do you think? And do you think like uh, you know, these days with uh, like the social media and everything? I mean, yes, it gave it gives us the chance to communicate with people, you know, like from other countries, like for example, you and I. But do you think that at the same time has like little? I mean, if you take it like way too serious, like you know, social media and everything, do you think that? That, that also at some point you start to lose like your, your humanity in a in a way you know what i mean yes i do i think there are pros and cons to it i feel like one of the pros of social media is uh, to have an experience like this with someone like you who is a pleasure to speak to thank you i think thank you oh i see uh oh an old friend of mine richard just joined hi richard um, I wasn't paying too much attention with people uh, joining in comments, but um, but very focused on what you're asking me. But um, con to uh, social media is a couple of things, in my personal opinion. So Instagram became way too overvalued. Um, so for example, um, certain uh, marketing companies or uh, even acting jobs, they're not even allowing people with under 10K followers to even have certain opportunities. I'm rimming right beneath the K. I I mean, I, I'm being told literally by different management that I need to surpass 10K. Me personally, I could care less. My bosses, they're telling me I have to. Help me out, man. Help me get uh, a... And yeah. 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 Call me after my interview. So, um, what I was saying to you is, um, I need to reach 10k. I'm a couple hundred beneath that. Is there anything we could do together to get me past 10k? Because it's being demanded of me right now in my career, and people have been, you know, telling my management that I need this. So, what could we do to make this happen for me? Huh. Oh, you're asking me. Oh, oh, oh I got this. I got yeah. This. Super. Oh, I got it. I got it. I mean, um, yeah, I don't got it. But I will think of a, I will think of something at yeah. some point. I can kind of like, right. Thank you but, so much. But you know, that uh, is I, that is so interesting. Uh huh. You were. I could care less. It's the other people that want to make sales and get me to endorse certain things. They're the ones that care because mm. it's all about the money to me. To them, to me, it's all about uh, passion and love and feeling. So, um, believe me, um, certain people are taking social media platforms and they are, um, you can understand a little bit of clickbait here and there, like, I'm all for selling out every once in a while, but people are taking it to the next level where it is just so overly trumping quality work that mm. no one's even, like I said, even looking people under 10k right now because people are absolutely exploiting themselves to get those followers to levels where people that have actually went to school and honed their craft as an actor 
et cetera, yeah. et cetera, are being pushed to the bottom of the pile and not even being seen. Um, and the quantity is taking over the quality of this world. So we just got to roll with the BS, man. You know, there's nothing we can do about it. We got to play or go home. So that's what it is. Yeah. Whatever, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I can understand that. I can understand that a lot. And, um, yeah, it is, it is, yeah, it is so interesting. Like, how social media has changed so many, uh, yeah, like, has changed, like, so many stuff here and there, uh, with jobs too, you know, and, um, I mean, everything is more virtual. Well, with COVID also make it, like, more, uh, that too. You know, we were like, we were like, yeah. Oh, now to take it all virtually because of the whole pandemic. Yeah. looking at who's joining um hi okay. guys and Thanks you know like uh, like on you know like uh, moving on to, like a little bit like for you what usually sets your creativity to go you know like what what triggers it for you to start thinking and to create and to be like okay i'm gonna do this and then that and then put it like i know it, i know it's not easy so for you what usually triggers that well um when it comes to my own projects i'm assuming what you mean um, it all yeah. starts with the problem. What are the problems that people are experiencing these days? And how can I help solve that as an individual? Because it all starts with you and how you can make a difference as an individual. Um, once people start thinking way too big, I don't really think anything is done. But there are little things each and every one of us can do to help make this world a better place. If you really think about yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. And well and you know what let's say, right? Let's say that I'm about to cre create something, you know, something that could actually help more people. Now, your experience, what are some of the things that I need to consider that I would that I will have to be like prepared? I'm like in this uh, creative process. I guess uh, when I try to solve a problem, I start at the truth. Okay. So, okay, for example, um, let's even look at my health and fitness book that I wrote, which was the first book I came out with the model body plan. Yeah. I started writing these plans from the point of the cheat. So, if I, a very big Jewish word in the Yiddish community is fussing, where you just pick on this, pick on that, eat this, eat that. And uh, I noticed people's habits, they were fussing and um, they were basically um, eating uh, a good amount of junk food as well. And they just couldn't stop with their habits. So, basically, I'm like, okay, let's start there. Let's assume. You're going to pick on this and this and that and this huge piece of chocolate cake, <laughs> like a fourth of the cake you're actually going to eat. Let's admit to the fact that that is what you're going to eat and this is what you're going to pick on. And let's make that the primary beginning of your plan and let's mm -hmm. see what else you could have in addition to what you're going to cheat with. And let's see if what you'd be willing to compromise on, like how many vegetables would you be willing to eat? to compensate and how much would you be willing to work out yeah and let's just say this a person use must uh calculations let's just say they're allowed 1500 calories a day let's just say the piece of cake had a, a thousand calories let's just say i could limit their frosting to like no more than two bites at a time and anything under 50 calories or less is not counted and then in the metabolic rate of processing food yeah. let's just say we don't count that even watchers agrees with that and let's just say a chocolate cake is about a thousand calories you're allowed 1500 now you're allowed 500 calories left a day so we want to break it down into two, 250 calorie meals or like varied up 300 and 200 do we want to have one more extra large meal at 500 and then you eat two meals that day it's that simple it's about making a choice when it comes to me being a scientist and solving problems, whether it be um, health and fitness, styling, dating, friends, or business, let's start at where the problem is. Give an acceptance. This is what is downfall and happening. And let's root out from the darkness. Let's not pretend it's not there. Uh -huh. Let's start there. 
and let that be the beginning. That's what I do. Wow. wow. How can I say it? I mean, I'm in love with what you do. It's really cool. Thank you so much. I mean, I mean, you're so talented. I mean, we all know that you're oh, like, gosh. you're like super talented. I love it. I love it. But I really appreciate that. Thank you. Of course, of course. And uh, and what would you say? It's one of the reasons why so many people would be desperate or or even stressed when they are in this creative process. You know, when they when they when they have this idea, but they get stuck. Like, what do you think? Is one of the reasons why they would get stuck. It's usually uh, what's happening around the creativity. So people's bills and like making the money to pay the bills to get that out of the way so then they can create is one yeah. thing. And other people may have kids or other obligations, other people. Now, to have a creative space, it's like you're almost isolating yourself in a bubble, no yeah. distraction and then you could get to it. But it's just to get to a place. I did a lot more creative projects uh, back when I, I had this family property on the water and I had a pool in the backyard and I was back there and I had zero responsibility and obligations. I was putting stuff to left and right. Yeah. Things have changed a little bit. I'm still putting out stuff. But I'm juggling a bunch of side jobs right now so I could pay my bills. Totally. So that I can be creative. It's the perk of being an A-lister is that your bills are covered and you could fully focus on writing sure. your scripts, your books, or what it is you have to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally, totally. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. And, and by saying that, would you say that is, that, that is also one of the reasons why some people will just walk away from their passions, you know? I don't know what it's like to walk away from something I love. I know what it's like to put something I love on the shelf and take care of other things that I'm forced to yeah. do and then come back to it when I can. But I don't know what it's like to abandon something that I'm passionate about. It's just not possible. Okay, okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I mean, what can I say? I mean, uh, I mean it, is, it is amazing what you do and like the fact that you want to share more, you know, the fact that you want to really 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 send like a positive message here like, to make people to understand more you know, about the whole about, about the whole great world that we're living right now that is really cool that's really cool and uh and yeah i do think that we need more that we need to have like a, that us as humans we, we do need kind of a, have a have like a like a, like a conversation where the problem where there's many problems is right in it I mean, and it is so easy to, 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 to just look the other way and just pretend that there is no problem, you know, when there's actually a problem out of the social media, with, uh, like, the dating and everything. I mean, it's so cool the fact that, you, that you're basically raising the hand and be like, we have a problem, check this out. You know, oh, it's like, not easy. Not no, easy not. to be me. I get a lot of slack for it. One of the people um, that I want to thank for their support is my agent, Sean, because... He didn't, he didn't just take me on because of my acting. He actually took me on because he couldn't believe I had all these books. I wrote a podcast. I wrote a reality show. And we're trying to push and pitch all of this stuff. And yeah, acting too. But like he sees me as like a whole um, enterprise within myself, creating my own project content. So he really believes in me. He's a lot of people to my fire. Just him checking in with me uh, every week is just, it keeps me going too. Because not that I would ever want to give up. It's just like, I have friends sometimes saying, you work so hard. One day we're all going to die. They were like, why do you work so hard? And like, yeah, yeah. why do you need to prove certain things so hard in this world? And I know this sounds like maybe a strange answer. I believe the soul is eternal. And I think I'm going to take it all with me. So maybe I won't take my Chanel bag to the afterlife or into my next life. But the memory <laughs> of uh, the things I've done, and let's just say I do my master's, my soul will be master's level wise in the afterlife. Maybe in my second life, if I really 
take my master's as a human, I become, maybe I'll ace it all the way through because I've already gotten my master's in my last life. So maybe it'll just be easier for me to take it a second time. Or maybe I'll just get like uh, what Taylor Swift got, like an honorary degree or something because in some other life I did the work. I don't know. I just think it's all for something. I feel like our souls are eternal. I feel it never ends. And everything we do good adds to our positive karma to make a brighter world for other people and a brighter seed in heaven for us and a brighter incarnation of our life lives to come and to yeah. see our people that we lost reunite with them and just it goes on and on and on and it never ends. Wow. That is speechless. What can I say? I mean that is that is that is awesome. Yeah and you know it it, it is true. I mean it's so interesting it is so interesting that uh, like the more, I mean, like the more you will, I mean, I, I, like I don't know how like to properly say, it, but, but what I'm trying to say here is that sometimes we just forget we're alive. You know what I mean? And sometimes we forget that that one day we're gonna die. You know? And uh, and we tend to we tend we tend to take things for granted. For example, that oh, we're gonna be alive tomorrow, and the, and the day after tomorrow is so on, so on, so on, so on. And you're wasting so many time of doing like so many other things you might love, you might not, but you know you're discovering them, so it's fine. Or, or like, uh, or like working on something that you really passionate about, you know. Because I do have heard the excuse that uh, that they have a dream, but they're like, yeah, but right now I can't because you know I need to pay bills. But yet again, I mean, with a, with the podcast that I've been doing and with the people that I've uh, that I've that I've uh, speaking with, most of them have side jobs and they still manage to get time to you know. Uh, get an audition or you know write something for the books or go to a photo shoot you know like like i do believe that that everything is possible if you as, uh, as we were saying before if you really love it you know and um and i do i do think as i was saying sometimes we just forget we just get we're human that at some point the clock will run out and then what you will you know like what what are going to be your memories you know what i mean like like what are be like, your biggest memories you know so i think that thinking like that is healthy in a way because you tend to appreciate more everything you know? or i mean not like everything probably like those little things that that, that you take for granted you know like the fact uh, that you wake up the fact that you are healthy in a way you know the, the fact that you that you are just alive you know i try not to take it for granted uh, um and more and more every day I do and become more and more of what I want to be um, with no guilt or shame. As far as what you're saying, like we should all find time for photo shoots to update our books and do the auditions. That I agree with. Um, when it comes to like getting a master's though, to dedicate two and a half years of my life, this program to me it's not really even about if it's about when yeah. so at first i wanted i thought i wanted to start really really soon and then i thought i wanted to start like mid-year because i really do want to write my seventh book this summer and it's like about priority just how do i move things around and do this first and i just can't seem to find enough time Yeah, yeah, that, that, I mean, it can get, it can be frustrating, but at the same time, I'm the type of person that, that used, that, for example, when, in terms of creativity, to just let it flow, you know, that, uh, make sure that I have time for everything, make sure that I have time for myself, even, like, hour, two hours, just, like, for myself, self, you know, like, to disconnect from everything, just to kind of, uh, relax a little bit because I've been also on the other side which is working full time and everything and not getting like even like an hour for yourself doing and, what? Uh, doing what full time? huh? what were you doing full time? so I was so first I had like this so yeah first I had like this you know like temporary job and then finished it like as soon as I get home I was instantly working with the podcast and then as, at 12 1, 2 a.m., I will go to bed, then wake up at 7, and then, you know, like, doing the same thing for just, I don't know, for, like, six months, six, seven months, I did that, and it was just killing me, you know, it was, like, a moment in which I was, like, you know oh. what, I'm, I'm just done, you know, because I couldn't even, 
I couldn't give a hundred percent on none of them. You know, like I was like 50 in this, 50 in that, or sometimes 60 in one and four, you know, like things like that. So I ended up kind of uh, like uh, like trying this, you know, having the chance to have just a couple of hours and also to make sure that you have a, like a proper sleeping cycle because like the more you start to understand, there's like there's like this whole connection that if you disconnect with things in order to, you know, follow, in order to work extremely hard here and there, you just, your your body basically pays bills, you know, and then and you ended up not being able to perform properly anyway, you know. I totally hear you. I just went back to the chiropractor yesterday. My back, my lower back was killing me. I worked so hard. I, yeah. I don't know. I feel better. <laughs> Guys, try a chiropractor if your back is hurt. It works. Like I can't believe I'm better. So. I love it. I love it. Yes, we do. We do need to make sure that you are always feeling awesome because, as I said before, you're doing so many things here, and it, it's, 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 it's impressive. I mean. I'm already speechless for how, I mean, besides being a super badass, talented person, I mean, you, you're a total badass. That's so kind. I love it. I love it. Um, and you know, like, my last question here would be, what can we expect from you in the future? You know, I just want to keep making my, my movies. Um, it's interesting. I've been sent out for a couple of television shows. Also, I did some guest appearances, uh, some co-star roles on, like, Gotham and Third Watch and yeah. different shows such as that. I'm really a movie actress. Um, I've been sent out, you know, for a lot of Netflix and TV lately, which would be a completely new experience. I've never starred on any TV shows, just yeah. co starred and stuff. So I'd like to get a little bit more into TV, but my main passion is definitely in movies. Um, start to finish. I, I want to keep on putting my book out. And I really do aspire to keep working in the industry of mental health and kind of like hand in hand to tie, you know, the fact that I'm an actor so long with standing yeah. upon uh, a soapbox to preach about mental health, awareness, solving problems positivity and how to come to solutions so I, I think it's hand in hand I think a lot of actors have different causes they stand for some actors go out to different countries and help feed starving children I'm over here from New York being in New York along with some mentally Ill communities and uh, some other uh, populations that need my help but um, I'm always here to uh people feel better and not feel so alone in this world yeah. and use my platform that I created as an actress to keep doing that and I just want it to get bigger and bigger and bigger I want my degree in school to get bigger I want the, the film budget I do to get bigger I just want to keep getting bigger <laughs> um, but I'm happy as it is you know I'm not trying to be greedy or nothing like that but we all gotta aspire for more and more no, just we get back. So. I love it. And you know what? If there's somebody that's gonna reach super high, that's I mean that's for sure. I mean that's gonna be for sure you. As I, I mean, nothing but epic stuff I can say about you because you are doing everything, and that is so cool. And at the same time, you think it because you love it, and you are getting involved into more stuff. At the same time, you want to, you know, help people make the uh, like kind of a kind of a raise your hand here and and show people that that everybody has kind of the same feeling or, or like having a bad time as someone might have. So the, the fact that you're trying to reach that and the fact that you also are continuing with, with your acting career, I mean, it's just a matter of time that we're that everybody learns about you. Hear me on that. It's just a matter of time that, that we're going to basically hear from you from, I don't know, from Japan to Mexico to China to all, to all of the world because you sing it because you love it, and that is something that I love. That I love the most about you amazing talented people that I have, that I have the, uh, speaking with. The fact that you that that is your passion, you know, and that you took a risk from getting out from you know the typical uh, standard routine, you know, you just make your own way, and you're actually making it happen. Of course, it's like a lot of hard work that we we might know, but the fact that you are 
continue crushing it and keep building your awesome career that is that is that basically thank you so much of course of course and um also I want to thank those watching right now thank you so much for watching if you're watching this either later here on Instagram or probably later on YouTube or if you're on your way to work walking walking the dogs or something and listening on Spotify or Apple, or Apple podcast make sure to follow me Aisha Normally what I would say is for you to follow her right now. Let's make her viral. Hashtag Team Aisha because she rocks. She's amazing. And before I send you off, you know what is coming. You know what I have to do. I need to send you off with an epic, epic send off for someone as bad as you. So. It's always a pleasure talking to you, Dan. Yeah, I, I promise at some point we're going to have a live audience. You know, COVID everything. Hey. One day we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have with we're, we're gonna be with the people cheering you up because you totally deserve all the cheering and the epicness because you're a badass and keep killing it, keeping awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. You're a badass. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, that was a good one. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye guys. <laughs>